A recent episode of CBC's Fifth Estate on Buffy St. Marie calls into question her claims of indigenous, and indigenous ancestry. In a public statement, the singer calls the Fifth Estate's allegations deeply hurtful. She continues to claim an indigenous identity, but the evidence presented in the documentary has sent shockwaves across Canada, causing pain, especially among people who are indigenous. CBC's Emily Brass has more on how Manitoba artists and institutions are responding to the news. Please welcome a legend in our industry, Buffy St. Marie. Buffy St. Marie inspired generations of indigenous musicians. It's time for change. In 2018, she won the Juno for Indigenous Music Album of the Year, but a recent CBC investigation suggests she's neither indigenous nor Canadian. The Junos are kind of like the benchmark. Dark secrets, darker Singer-songwriter Don Amaro was also up for that Juno for his work with Winnipeg band Indian City. Led by the late Vince Fontaine, the award could have recognized the respected musician before he died last year. Vince and I used to talk about the awards. They're not the be-all and end-all, but that's the kind of the big pat on the back that says you're kind of in the right direction. Kelly Fraser was also in the running. The up-and-coming singer took her own life in 2019. Amaro says while he would have liked to see either of those artists win, he's not condemning Buffy. To get to this place in my career as an Indigenous artist, um, I stand on the shoulders of giants, and Buffy's one of those giants that kicked open the doors for a person like me. St. Marie was recognized with dozens of accolades during her decades-long career, including an honorary doctorate of music from Brandon University. In a statement, BU says it's absorbing the allegations and says it'll engage in meaningful conversations with Indigenous leaders before taking action. Manitoba Music says the documentary sparked emotional conversations among industry professionals across the country. The group's already looking at how to verify indigeneity for grants and awards, something producer-director Jade Harper says is tricky given the history of the 60s scoop. We talk about self-identifying as Indigenous people and respecting that and not questioning because we all don't know what people are going through. So, you know, one of the things I had learned was not to question out of respect. She says while many are feeling a mix of disappointment and gratitude to Buffy, the honours she received were meant for Indigenous people for a reason. We need that step up. And so if there are people who are claiming indigeneity who are not Indigenous and then taking those steps, that is harmful. Harper says any process to confirm indigeneity must involve Indigenous leaders. Emily Brass, CBC News, Winnipeg. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.